Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. Okay, now I'm gonna try to start from the beginning. The only thing I'm not going to do is pour the resin because that takes a little more prep time. But I'm gonna take us up to that point, make believe we poured it and that we've waited 24 hours, preferably 72, but 24 is good and uh, before we do anything else to it. So bear with me and hopefully we'll get through this in record time. And if you have any questions, you know, always know where to find me. So the only thing I've got left that's not been chewed up are my rose bushes. So I have mounting spray and I'm going, usually I do this outside, but it's a little brisk out there today. So I'm just gonna give this a little hit and try not to breathe it in. The mounting spray, I'm gonna take my leaf and I'm gonna lay it across. This is a four by four tile, by the way. I got a little noogie on there, but it's not gonna show. So we're gonna lay this flat. The mounting spray, if you don't like how it looks, you can always lift it. Again, that's the purpose of mounting spray. Therefore, it is mounted and you can remove it. And we just wanna move that around a little bit. Okay, and one other thing, uh, since it is a rose bush, I wanna just remove a bit of that uh, thorn that's on there. There we go. And I'm gonna remove this little noogie here. Boop, right off of there. My fingers are all sticky. Now I'm gonna take my foil. Kind of, you know, if it's crunched, all the better. I kind of like it when it's crunched before I put it on there because it adds a little more texture. I don't want to use all of it, but I'll use a goodly portion of it. Cut off some. And let's see what we got here. Put that over there. And now what we're going to do, like I did in the previous one, Lay it on top and we're going to smooth it in place. And then we're going to give it all we got to get this embossing done. And you can see pretty much where my spig stem is. And you got to work these leaves a little bit because they're not as thick as the, as the maple leaves. But they're coming through. You just got to give it a little time. Take your fingernail and run it through. You can just about tell now where they are. And especially when you get the ink on them, they're going to come out a little better. And the sun in this room is crazy bright. So, and I'm not complaining. We've had rain all morning, so it's kind of nice to see the sun. And I am using my nail and running it across to bring out those edges of the leaf, like right here. And um, so far, I haven't, you know, done any damage to, uh, to tearing the aluminum foil. This is the heavy duty aluminum foil. And I have used the thinner aluminum foil, the regular aluminum foil without problem. All right, we're gonna fold this around over here. And you can be neat with it, or you can be, and you know, I'm, I'm lazy. And I always, I'm always i always checking out, oh, this is, I'm in the spot, um, checking out fast ways to do things. Sometimes I screw them up big time, sometimes I don't. But I experiment a lot, so you just have to do the best you can with what you got. So anyway, fold it around, fold it around. And fold this side in. And if it tears, it tears. Uh, you know, it's not its not the end of the world. It's not a tragedy. Okay, now, we got that. And you can pretty well see those leaves. You know, I'm really pleased with that. So we're just gonna do it really quick, like a bunny. Let's see, oops, I got to maybe go around it a little bit. And we're just gonna fill in the outside of the leaf pattern there. 
if I wasn't in a hurry, I would do this better. But I think you're getting the drift on this. And you can see, there we go. And then we're going to try to lift that off of that. And then I'll open that leaf up a little bit. And then we're going to dump another color on those leaves. But I think it's coming along quite well in a short period of time. And I'm using the, just the ink to move that around. No color, just ink. And I got some bright purple, the uh, wild plum. And we're going to move that around. And for contrast, I think it's good to, just for this video, the contrast of this so you can see it. Um, that you know you can mix these colors and do they get funky well, sometimes and sometimes you win you know sometimes it makes a beautiful a beautiful color so but you, you never know unless you experiment you gotta experiment the other thing I like to do and you can see you get that darker is just run it across the lit the top of the bottle and you 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 can control uh, the amount coming out a little better but you can see basically your leaf is done let's just call it done for expediency sake something you will never ever see me do is put the lid back on anything and uh, I'm going to do that right now so we've got our leaf we've got the leaf underneath aluminum foil on top and it's painted now I would advise you to spray with the Kmar um, and the UV because you never know if you're going to give this as a gift or you're going to give it to somebody that, you know, maybe you're going to put it in a frame, it's going to hang on a wall. You don't want UV rays to reduce it. The resin, I use art resin, it's expensive, but I know it's not going to yellow over time and that's good. It's not going to yellow. My problem is I don't know if. If the UV protection of the resin has the same UV protection for the inks, I don't want to take a chance. So I do both, and then I pour the resin. So let's say I'm finished spraying. I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to tape the back. Now, in that picture I showed earlier, oh, I still got that thing in here. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like if you don't tape the bottom and you want to tape the bottom because you'll get these little runs because if you pour across the top this is one I ruined by the way and I'll, I'll I'm gonna do another video on how to do this but the right way of course but um, you pour it and then you don't tape it drips through the bottom and that's what it looks like once it's dry that's what you're going to avoid by using the tape so we want to use the tape and we're going to tape it and not worry about, we're not going to worry about taping over the aluminum foil because we're just not. So we're going to tape over the aluminum foil thusly and we're going to get it down as tightly as possible. Just, yeah, just as, as good as you can get it down there. The problem, and it's not really a problem, it's the nature of the beast. The resin will seek its own level. It will level itself, which is a beautiful thing, but it will also find any little open nook and cranny and creep in, which underneath your tape, it'll seep in under your tape, and then you're, you're going to have a little bit of a problem with that too. But that's, it's, it's a little problem. It's not a major issue. Because in about 20 hours after you've poured it, you're going to take this tape off and it's still going to be pliable enough that if it is underneath your tape, it will come right off. Um, you won't have any problems. So there. Now we got it all taped. There we go. And if you get a chance, even if you're not going to use Art Resin, go to the Art Resin site. They have a lot of interesting uh, videos on there. Um, or go to YouTube and pull up Art Resin. There's a lot of interesting videos there that will give you some ideas on pouring 
and what to do. So what I do, then I get, pardon my boarding house reach, I set this up on a cup and I pour. Now on this, I would probably use, I, I always end up using more than I need of the resin, but um, I usually take one of these measuring cups, I use two, and I measure exact amounts of maybe 15, 15 cc's or, or half, of, half of one of these is 15 cc's and 15 cc's, you have the hardener and you have the resin, and then you mix them together and you stir them for three minutes. I stir for five just to make sure. Pour it over the top, pour it into a cup, stir it for 15 minutes. You wanna take both of these, the 15, I screwed that up, the 15 cc's in here of the hardener, 15 cc's of the resin. Pour them both at the same time. Turn on, watch your clock, three minutes, you're gonna stir it for three minutes. Don't use a spoon because your resin will settle in here and it won't mix properly and you'll lose it. Use the back side of the spoon, the long side, and stir it. Stir it for three minutes. I usually stir for five, it doesn't hurt it. And then you're gonna pour it over your, over your uh, tile. Now, you're gonna leave it set and you wanna cover it with a shoe box or something large because you don't want cat hair floating in, you don't want the dust and motes and things that float through the air to fall on top, you wanna keep it clean. So cover it, leave it set for 25, 24 hours. Go back and, and then check it. A lot of it's gonna be underneath. Underneath, I normally put my, um, I normally pour on a big old trash bag and it peels, you know, there's there's no chance of it sticking to the tables or anything like that. And, I, and it doesn't stick, the resin doesn't stick to the trash bag. Um, I can peel it off the trash bag and reuse the trash bag over and over again. So that works. Now, 25 hours has passed. I'm going, oh, I gotta do my thing. So I have this now and I'm gonna take, flip it over, everything's fine. I'm gonna take my tape off. So very gently and gingerly, I'm gonna take this tape off. Now you can see what's gonna happen. It's gonna stick. So I'm going to try my best to finesse it off and just pull it off. And it's gonna have those drips that look like this on top of the tape. It's gonna have these little drips. So that's what it's gonna look like. And I'm just gonna take that off this if some of your aluminum foil comes off with it it's not a problem honestly you'll see why in a second now I'm gonna pull this off did all that dispose unless you want to save it I, I never save mine because it never sticks the same way twice throw that away now what I do since this is glued down on the front I take a scissor and I make sure I get it a good margin, push it up against the edge, like that, and I just trim off that portion of the foil. The reason I do that is that if I'm setting this, you know, it's kind of bulky. If you if all, you got all this extra on here, if you're gonna put it in a frame, it's gonna push up out of the frame, and I don't like that. So I trim, I make sure I got enough to cover the edge, and then I just trim it off. Voila, do the same thing all the way around. Mm, look at these split. Nice and neat. Lift that up. And when you do this after it's poured, after you pour the resin, these sides are gonna be pretty stiff, but you won't have any trouble slicing it with a scissor like that. It comes right off. So now you have this you're essentially finished. Um, your your seal, you have your sealer underneath, you have your resin on top, and I don't know what I did with my little box. I thought I had everything ready to go, but I don't. Hold on one second. I'll pull up another little box to show you. And Aftos, these are Aftosa boxes. I'm probably staring at it. It's right here in front of me, but it's not. They also have frames that look just like this. And if you pull them up, you can see that. But you can see why you wanna 
make sure you want to seat that first before you glue. Seat it first, set, if you're satisfied. If you don't like how the edges look, tuck your edges down a little bit. You can always go back over with the ink. It's not going to hurt anything. Just very lightly, just dab where you think you need a little more ink. You're resined, but you can paint on top of the resin with the inks. It's okay. It's okay. It'll dry just fine. And you're not doing a big space, so it's just a small area. So that's Basically, that's all there is to it. However, what I wanted to show you, and before you go, that if you have uh, this one here, I'm not going to use this. I'm a digital artist also. Uh, let's see if I can't keep that in there. This is one of my drawings, and I have my drawings then reproduced at CVS or Walgreens. It's just a 4x4 four four photograph. I glue that to one of the tiles with the same fixative spray, mounting spray. Um, and then I go through, I, I tape the bottom and I pour the resin on the top. I then put that in one of my boxes and I, and I, I do it that way. Now, you can use, if you want to, if you do something on UPO, and you want to put it on a box, you can do the same thing and have it fixed to the top of a tile the same way or cut the pe cut certain pieces. If there's something that you want to save, just cut certain pieces and make a mosaic of your UPO um, um, ink drawings, however you want to do it. But you can always fix it to the top of a tile and then have it seated in a box. So, and it works, you just glue it in. Again, I use the E6000 ink and hope I, it's never failed me yet. Um, so do that. The other thing you can do is you can put, I don't have my D-rings out here, but I talked about it. There's a picture there above, D-rings. You can put a D-ring right here and hang it if, you, if you'd like. Any, any of them. The, the leaf ones are um, uh, this one or any one that you do, put a D-ring right here. Put first what I do. I put the E6000 down, a D ring. I push on top of that. Then I put some more 6000 on top of that, and so that and I let it go. I don't look at it for 24 to 48 hours. I want to make sure that it sits well and it might shift. In the meantime, I, I keep an eye on it, but I don't mess with it unless I absolutely have to. And then I take a little stick or something and, and move it back into place. But it's the D rings come on a hinge, so you you um, you have the the ability to make sure that it's it's gonna sit right and it will be able to be hung. So let's see. I think that's. I don't have one to show you. I don't think. Wait a minute. No, I don't think so. Nope. This is this is an ink one I haven't mounted yet, but it's this is one of my inks and um, it's it the dragons just appeared and I I love this so much I'll never sell it I just love it but it's going to go in the top of one of the larger boxes so that's all I have to tell you if you have any questions let me know and um, yeah this is going to be on YouTube and if uh, if I can get it to do it. And so here goes. Bye.